Hey, what's up, y'all? This is King Coonji back with part two of the video. I apologize for it cutting me off. I got to be more mindful of um, my space capacity on my phone. I frequently run out of space. Um, but like I was saying, man, you just got to really be careful with who you share your dreams, your goals, and your purpose for doing things because you have a lot of dream killers out there. You have like energy vampires just sucking the energy out of you. And uh, just be mindful, man, that, you know, these those those people in your life that uh, that love the hell out of you and consciously they want to see you do well yeah consciously they'll come to your graduation yeah consciously they'll be excited about the fact that you just got your certificate or got your degree or got accepted to grad school or just got this new job got a promotion but in reality they are they they are really not happy subconsciously it is not nothing personal remember that that they're they're their true non excitement for you know your progress you're deciding to change your situation um it's not you personal they will feel that way about anyone whether it's a co-worker a friend a family member because who they are really upset with is themselves you know because you making the decision to not allow circumstance environment and situations to control you know your walk in life you know uh, allow it to impact how you move towards achieving your goals you shatter everything. You shatter all their excuses. A lot of people live off these damn excuses, man. Well, I can't do this because, you know, I don't make enough money. Or I can't do this because, um, you know, oh, whatever, man. You know, I can't find a babysitter. Um, you know, um, you know, I ain't got no help. You know, my kid's father don't help me. Or, you know, you know, my wife is, don't support me. Or, you know, um... Whatever the case may be, man, no matter no matter what it is, man, people going to make excuses. And I'm saying, look, I'm not saying that I'm, <laughs> I'm saying it because I, I was one of those people, dude. I was one of those people. That This video I'm making and all the other videos is based on experience. Not some textbook I read, man. It's from being in a losing position and blaming circumstance, blaming situations, blaming environment. And it took me a long time to say, hey, man, you, you got you to gotta get up off your ass and, um, and make it happen you know you got to make it happen you know if you if you're going to call yourself a warrior man a warrior goes into every battle every war expecting to win now you let's just understand now you gotta you gotta evaluate how you define winning you know death can be winning you know when they, they if they giving their all if they going hard to defend their village or defend their nation and as a result they died they won they didn't give up they were not defeated they didn't allow the fact that the opposing army outnumbered them 10 to 1. They didn't, they didn't care about the fact that, like, you know, when the Native Americans were here, right, when the Europeans came to the, came to the U.S. and stole their land, you know, yeah, they was operating with bows and arrows and spears and, um, and, um, and tomahawks made with stone at the end. And, and the Europeans had cannons. The Europeans had rifles and had swords, you know. So they didn't give a shit that, you know, they was outnumbered or give a shit that the artillery of their enemy was was more uh, advanced or superior they didn't give a shit they gave their all them jokers got on the back of a horse and went across that field you know uh, uh doing their war chance and some of them took bullets some of them died some of them did not but you know to them they won you know because they said you know what i'm not going to accept defeat because i'm in a situation that appears to be uh, uh unwinnable you know what i'm saying never never accept defeat you know what i'm saying but so you got to be mindful of the people that are in your circle you know you, you some people you just gotta love and be like you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna share shit you just let them see don't don't share shit just let them see let them see how you came out because guess what you may inspire them you may inspire them to say you know what if he can do it or if she can do it i can you know i had no idea i wonder why you know I, didn't, I ain't see them lately hanging out at the club or see them, um, I ain't see them a lot lately. You know, I know that they've been to themselves a lot on their laptop, in the coffee shop, you know, uh, staying up late, waking up early in the morning. I had no idea what they were doing, but now I know they was working on this new thing. You know, when they see that, they realize, okay, wow, you, you become the blueprint. Cause they see you come up out of that situation. You know what I'm saying? So my mama, they do, let me tell you something about my mama. My mama, it's the best example of Ogun Strong. My mama. Look, let me tell you about my mama, man. You know, 
I lived the first seven years of my life in Fayetteville, North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? My mom and uh, my mom was a single mom with two boys in the projects, a uh, neighborhood called Grove U Terrace. We used to call it the court back in the day. I think it still is called the court. My mama bought two boys by herself. When she graduated high school, she was waiting tables. You know what I'm saying? You know, college education is something that run in my family. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my family came with the whole, you know, you graduating, you go, you go get a job. So she got a job waiting tables. You know, but when she, you know, but she decided to go back to school to get her associate's degree in banking and finance. Man, my mom moved. See, the first job opportunity that came up, you know, in, in Charlotte, North Carolina, on a uh, on a temp job, fifteen thousand dollars a year, a temp job. She moved her boys in a new, you know, she had just married, you know, my stepdad at the time, my daddy, you know, the man who who, who uh, raised me, you know, they moved to Charlotte with, you know, to say, look, I'm going to go. It's not permanent, but I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to do whatever I can to make this happen because I'm I don't want my boys to grow up in the projects. I want a better life for them, and the only way this is going to happen, I got to trust. And my goal and my purpose. My mama went and moved her new husband and her boys to a new city, unfamiliar, no family, no friends, and say, whatever it takes, I'm going to make it happen. And she made it happen. It's 30 years. My mama retired from the federal government. She got that job in six months, hired permanent, and she's been with the federal government since. And I'm not, I ain't going to lie. I got a damn bachelor's degree, almost complete with a master's, and my mom make three times more money than I do. Make me feel like I wasted a shitload of money on loans. You know what I'm saying? But she is the epitome of old Goon Strong. You know, and she told me there were other women, same situations, her in the projects, single, living off food stamps, living off welfare checks, and just loving the fact that, you know, that they not try they weren't trying to do anything. My mom said, you know what? I'm gonna take advantage of this this shit right here, go back to school, get my degree, and I'm gonna get my boys the hell up out of here. Said I don't want nothing to happen to them. And as a result, my mama finished. My mama uh, um, became successful in her job, ended up becoming a director of a social security office in Miami, Florida before she retired. And me and my brother both got accepted to college. So her kids became college educated and she actually went back to school to work on her degree. She didn't finish, but you know, she was able to accomplish everything because she made a decision. So I don't want this video to uh, cut off. You know, remember you can't share everything with everybody. Find your dream partners, find your plan partners and find your, um, your, your movers and shakers. Those people like to move and get shit done. You know what I'm saying? I want you to be old going strong, eat clean, let's get fit. This King Coonji, I'm out. Peace.